Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another main assembly episode. And today we're looking at some incredible, like, probably some of the best, most realistic creations I've ever seen in this episode. And um, we're we're starting off with a bunny that <laughs> is automa automatically hop towards you, which is actually kind of hilarious. It's got the googly eyes too. I didn't even realize I just spawned this thing in and ran away from it to see what it did. So this is going to be a mostly Star Wars themed episode because uh, they found a lot of really incredible looking Star Wars creations, but there aren't enough Star Wars creations to make a whole episode out of. So that's why we got a bunny here and we'll be looking at some other stuff too. And you're probably wondering you're wondering to yourself, Scrap Man, if this is a Star Wars themed episode, why aren't you in the stars? Where's the space map? And that's a good question. I'm asking that question too, but apparently most of these Star Wars creations aren't made for space. They're made for actual gravity maps. So I gave you the next best thing. Instead of being in the space map, we are on a desert environment, much like, I don't know, like Tatooine or something. I don't know, I'm not a Star Wars Galactica fan. All I really know is that like Luke Skywalker they had to destroy the Death Star to find the Philosopher's Stone or something. All right, anyway, this bunny is probably uh, not having a good time out in the desert environment. So let's uh, spawn in another creation. All right, let's start off with this thing, which I guess is called an A-Wing. It definitely looks familiar to me. I've seen a bunch of Star Wars like toys and stuff in my lifetime, and I've seen some Star Wars movies and things like that. So I'm not like completely ignorant to Star Wars things. Oh boy, here we go. That, all right, oh, there, that, whoa. I found out how to steer. Okay, what, is this thing supposed to be able to fly? Is that, I don't know about that. I don't know if this is supposed to be able to fly or if this is supposed to be some type of like land-based vehicle. But if, it, if it's supposed to be able to fly, then this is going great so far. We're flying. This thing's, oh, oh, look at those lasers. That's great. All right, what else do we got? Hold on, uh, oh. This looks great on this map, too. All right, how do I slow down? All right, we're slowing down now. Okay, this thing seems to have hover pads in it. So when I land, I don't like completely land on the ground. What? How do they stop so fast? S something weird happens with this. There's, whoa. I just noticed how this thing turns. That whole back section turns like that. That's cool. Wait, what does the inside look like? Are there different camera angles? No way, he built like an entire co- Oh! There's control sticks. Is that incredible? That is so realistic in there. They look very professionally crafted. Oh, there is a first person. How do I- Oh, here it is. This is incredible. All right, we're increasing the power. Oh, that's to pull up, that's to go down. Oh, having that visual like feedback to what I'm doing is really cool. All right, max power. There we go. Oh, and there's a, uh, a horizon sensor. All right, I feel like there are lights in front of me though that should be lighting up. Let's go into the programming, see what this thing's all about. Okay, that looks relatively simple, but let's go back to, okay, now things are getting more complicated. Ooh, what does X do? Oh, the, the lights are actually hit indicators, it looks like. When your laser is hit, you can actually give feedback, and uh, I guess they indicate when you hit. Oh, interesting. So X uh, in the cockpit there, X turns that red, and I don't know what that means. Oh, is that a hit? When I hit the ground in front of me? Wait a minute, what? Sometimes it turns red and sometimes it turns yellow. I don't know what that means. Here, let's try to let's try to see if we can hit this tower here or something. Ah! Ah! I hit it. Oh, that is laggy. It's like one of the first times I've really experienced a lot of lag in main assembly. Oh, look at what happened to our cockpit. That does not look healthy. Uh, let's take a look from the outside now. Nope, that's not healthy. All right, what do we got going on here for damage? Oh, look at that landing. That was a very nice landing. Yeah, we've taken a lot of damage. I don't think we're gonna survive this one, unfortunately. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to scrap this one. It's been totaled, but I'm sure we can get some parts from it. All right, so something a little bit different from Star Wars for this one. This is apparently the A-10 Thunderbolt, and it looks pretty legit. Wait, are these what I think they are? Are these real? Oh, <gasps> that is a detachable block right there. We have some detachable missiles. Oh, yes, those are some rocket engines. This looks fun. Is there an explosive in here? 
This looks like a fun creation. Let's look at the programming. There's a lot of different menus with a lot of different stuff. Number two is autopilot? What? Three is landing gear. Oh man, we're gonna have to push buttons and see what happens with this. There's a lot of stuff happening in this. Rockets, let's see what the rocket buttons are. Fire, apparently we get hit feedback for the rockets. I actually don't know how that works. Hit from what? Oh, there are, there are actual explosives on this thing. Look at how many explosives, cylinder explosives and sphere explosives. Oh, look at how many things there are. That must be the proximity sensors for the hits. Oh, you can. This is amazing. I'm actually learning stuff about this game that I didn't realize we could do. Look at how many programmable outputs there are. Oh my goodness. Controls. Here we go. WS for pitch, AD for roll, QE slash left to right for yaw. Okay, that's good. I can use Q and E instead of arrows. Up and down arrows for power. Okay. C for camera. Oh wow, this is so nice. Right mouse is missiles. Left mouse is the machine gun. Look at this. One for assisted turning? I don't know what assisted turning means. I thought like two for autopilot, three for landing gear. Eject seat? We have an ejection seat? Oh, this is nice. I like that there's a specific just controls menu. This is good. All right, let's increase the throttle. We're gonna pitch ourselves up here. Oh man, this is actually a lead. This creation is so massive. It is one of the first creations to lag my game just by using it. At least one that wasn't meant to be completely ridiculous. All right, landing gear was what, three? There we go. Landing gear goes up and closes very nicely. All right, this thing wants to nosedive though. All right, let's use the machine gun. There we go. Look at that machine gun. That is not quite 30 millimeter machine gun, but you know, all we have is lasers and plasma weapons to work with for projectiles right now. Uh, okay, you can stop firing now. It's not stopping. Okay, there we go. Oh, it spins too, look at that. That's cool. That's really awesome. All right, so this is what non-assisted turning looks like. Now I'm gonna turn on assisted turning. Okay, it does seem to, I think it makes me go a little bit sharper. I'm not actually sure. All right, let's try these, uh, let's try autopilot. Turn assisted turning off and autopilot. Autopilot's on. It looks like it's gonna land me. Uh, okay, I'm, okay, I don't know what autopilot's doing. There's an alarm going on. Is that alarm mean not good? That we're too close to the ground, maybe? Oh, look, we have a joystick in here, too. All right, turn autopilot off. Let's lift up. Come on. Am I not lifting up off the ground? I'm not lifting up on the, off the ground. Maybe if I put my landing gear out. There we go. I actually needed my landing gear to unland myself. All right, I think we actually have an alarm indicator if I get too close to the ground with my landing gear... Uh, up. All right, so I think autopilot mostly levels myself off when I activate it. Yeah, when I activate autopilot, it automatically levels me, but it doesn't seem to take control of my pitch. All right, so now let's try our missiles. All right, I'm gonna right click. That looks so cool. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to see them explode. Oh, I did. Okay, that's cool. Let's try to bomb whatever this is over here. Is this like a tent or something? I don't know what it is. We're gonna try to bomb it. Oh, it's a rock. It's a rock and some cacti. All right, well, here we go. And bomb. Oh, oh, we did it. It actually blew up the cactuses. That was so good. I didn't expect to actually damage anything. That was amazing. That was like a perfect drop. All right, what about this tree here? I still have one more of the small bombs, and then is it just gonna automatically drop the bigger missiles? Oh boy, pull up, pull up, pull up. This thing needs uh, some better pitch control. All right, there we go, we're dropping. All right, it knocked over one of the signs. All right, and I'm gonna go for the corner of this building now. All right, these are missiles though? Oh, they don't explode? Those are actual missiles. All right, let's fly them at the ground. Huh, the missiles seem to not explode. All right, now I'm gonna bring the landing gear back down. I'm gonna turn down the power and we're gonna come in for a very, very rough landing, but the suspension actually worked there. That was amazing. <coughs> 
All right, back to another incredible Star Wars creation. This, I think it's still loading. Yeah, this thing is still loading in. That's how detailed and intricate this thing is, is it takes like more than a couple seconds to load in. So this is apparently a Y-Wing. And the level of detail makes me think, was this manually built in here? Or did they like somehow magically import a model into this game or something? Because... Like, look, look at the level of detail in this. Just like all the little contours everywhere. It's just, it's unbelievable. Like literally unbelievable. <laughs> look at the level of, like, look at these pipes. It's perfect. Everything's perfect on this. Like, it seems inhuman. This might be made by the same person who made the other Star Wars thing. I think it is. This seems to be a very, very similar control scheme. All right, let's try it out. Oh man. This is, this is actually incredible. This is so cool. Oh, what, what view is this? Oh, is this like a bomber view or something? Look, there's a camera in there for like a bomber. Okay, there's that. Uh, how do you fire those ones on the top? Okay, we can turn like this. We have some pitch. Whoa. Where did those come from? What? We have like guns right on the bottom there. Look at that. And they have like an automatic recharge. Okay, all right. No, I don't want to increase power yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I got to push more buttons to see what happens. Oh, here's the cockpit. We got some, we got another movable joystick thing. Oh, there's our laser charge power. Look at that. These creations are getting unreasonable. Oh, maybe that's what this view is for is space. Let's recharge. Oh, that is what it's for, but when I'm up in the air, it'll be a different view. Okay, all right, let's try it. Let's try to take off now. Here we go. All right, well, that was super easy. Yeah, look at this totally looks like a 3D model. Like, all those little details have to be imported or something. That That's just, I don't, I don't believe someone has that level of dedication. Well, I do though, I really do. <laughs> All right, so let's change over to this view and I'll press uh, space. Look at that. Does it actually hit the road where I was? I didn't see where it landed here. Let's see if I'm flying level, which I kind of am now. Uh, I'm already past it, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Well, let's see if I expire now. Now let's see if it actually hits that. Oh no, it goes kind of past it. I might not have been, I know, might not have been completely level though. My horizontal trajectory is gonna drastically change where those things land. But that seemed to be kind of it, almost. All right, let's crash this thing. Let's see how this thing crashes. There's a lot of parts on this. Probably gonna be very laggy. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not that bad actually. Not as bad as the first one, which is surprising because this is a lot bigger. All right, up next, we have the Aptera. And this is something that I actually remember being a thing when I was in high school, this thing was first announced. And it was supposed to be this like huge deal of an electric car and uh, nothing ever came of it. I don't remember anything actually ever coming of it, but oh, look at the, the suspension looks really interesting. I'm really surprised at how well everything is, they fit everything in here. I'm curious to see how it all works. Let's check the controls in water. Oh, this is also a boat. I think there's water on this map. All right, we got some more buttons to press. Number one, number two. Oh, interesting. You can make it like, a you can make it a low rider. Oh, Q is lights. C. <laughs> they built a display that has an outline of the car on it, just like an actual electric car display. And look at that steering wheel. And it has a speedometer in it as well. And it has a GPS. You can see like the roads for the GPS. I mean, it's a fake road, obviously, but I still know what it means. It has a battery level indicator in here. This is really cool. Oh, here's the actual driver's seat view. It feels like I'm in a car. I mean, I kind of am. Look at the door. Even the doors on the inside, the interior looks legit. The seats look amazing. It has cup holders. It has a console. It has a door interior. Another just unreasonably detailed build. All right, where, where's the teleports? I want to teleport to the Oasis. All right, close enough. We got some water here. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. <laughs> Is that cool or what? It's a car boat. 
Yeah, and it actually turns in here. I wonder how it is actually turning. Oh, look at the... The propellers come... There were propellers that small? I'm surprised at how fast this thing goes on the water, to be honest. All right, let's see what happens when we get out of the water. I want to see those propellers come back up. All right, here we go. Look at that. Yep, they just lift right up into the wheel wheel. That is so cool. Yep, this is just... It's just more mind-blowing creations. Like, that's all this episode is. Is like, absolutely mind-blowing creations. All right, it's time to move on to another Star Wars one. This is apparently a TIE silencer. Now, this is something I'm completely unfamiliar with. Whoa, oh my goodness, hold on. <laughs> and yes, this thing is not meant for space because these are jet engines which do not work in space. I already tried this thing in space. Um, so I, uh, th this, this just looks to me like a, uh, a flattened and elongated TIE interceptor. It's also very, very difficult to fly. Look at those wing flaps, though. Does this have, like, any weapons or anything? Not that I'm noticing. All right, hold on. Let's go into the programming. Yeah, S-W-A-D space. Super, super simple programming. So you guys tell me in the comments, does this, does, does this look familiar to you? Is a TIE silencer just a, a smush TIE interceptor that swirls around in the air until it hits the ground? All right, well, we're still near the water, so let's look at salmon. Apparently, salmon is a thing that swims in the water. Whoa, I'm not doing anything. This works really well. Is that its only source of propulsion? Is... I don't know if that's its only source of propulsion. I love the googly eyes. This is kind of cool. Whoa! You can make it go so much faster. Look at that. Okay, all right, turn, turn, turn. Oh, turning's a little awkward. Oh, oh, space to go up. That is interesting. Oh, and control to go down. I see. Oh, that is cool. And then it automatically levels off when you're not pressing them. Okay, starting to learn. Look at that. That's great. I do hear a propeller in here, so I don't think it's the actual movement of the fish that is its primary source of thrust. I will, like, check the insides to confirm, though. All right, let's look in here. We got some buoyancy, a lot of buoyancy, and it's actually kind of hard to see much of anything else because of how cramped it is in here. Proximity sensor. All right, here, I'm just going to hide all the side panels so we can see in here a little bit better. There's, he crammed so much stuff in here. Funny thing is, uh, one of the things I can't find is an actual propeller. Nope, there it is. Water propeller right there in the center. Wow, that thing is just packed in there. All right, here, let me actually, let's get out of it. And is it going to try to follow me? Oh my, it's gonna try to follow me. That is so cool. That's it, yeah, it tries to follow me. It looks so real. All right, I got one more Star Wars creation for us to look at and I was saving this one for last because Based on the thumbnail, I think it's gonna be the best one. And I don't know if this was meant for space or not, but we'll try it here first. If it seems like it was meant for space, we'll bring it into space. And of course, it's the X-Wing. And the reason why this thing is absolutely incredible is, uh, first of all, notice how long it takes to load in. This also makes me suspicious that this is some type of 3D model imported in here because look at this stuff. It's like, it's like a perfect circle. Do you have any idea how hard a perfect circle is in this game? And then look at everything. Look how laggy it is. It hasn't even loaded everything in yet. It's still loading stuff. Look at this. Is this mind blowing? Yes. The answer is yes. Don't you know what I? It was a rhetorical question. This is mind blowing. The accuracy of it. Oh, look at. The, is that? That's gonna. We have some crosshairs and stuff. What is this gonna be? We got some hinges. Let's look in the cockpit here. Look at this. We have an amazing cockpit in here. We have a seat that actually has padding, like visual padding. <sighs> All right, let's look into the programming of this. Is this made by the same person that made the other ones? Because there's no way you did this much with this amount of time. So this is just for the pitch, yaw, and roll. Weapons, there's weapons. Oh no, this one has a lot of controls. I, J, K, L, takeoff and landing. <sighs> This might be really hard to figure out. Targeting for middle mouse button, fighter mode for F for fighter mode, manual landing gear. There's a lot of buttons on this. This is going to be extremely difficult to learn, I think. So let's try 
pushing G for something. Let's try pushing buttons and see what happens. Oh, my wing fell off. My whole wing already fell off. Oh, wait, what? How am I zero G already? I'm like, I'm literally zero G. I think this thing was made for any environment. How do we go forward though? All right, spit. Let's shift to go forward. There we are. Oh, this is uh, also camera controlled, which is going to be terrible for thumbnails. All right, uh, G does something. Oh, G opens up the cockpit. Okay. Yeah, this is real. Oh, oh, that was the best crash I've ever seen. That was great. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm just gonna stay here and we're just gonna push buttons. I wish I could see what happens though when I'm pushing the buttons, but it's gonna follow my mouse movement everywhere. All right, uh, F, there it is. There it is. We are now in X-Wing mode and we can fire our lasers from the tips of all of those wings. Whoa, and we can shoot those as well. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of stuff that I don't know. Oh, the landing gear is coming out automatically now. Oh, I should probably, let's close those. There we go. Yeah, that landing gear is automatic depending on how close we are to the ground. Whoa, look at the front foot. It's kind of just, it has like that suspension piece on it that's very, very loose. Interesting. All right, and then we can go into first person mode here. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at this targeting. All right, here we go. We're taking off. I got my throttle on the left there, I believe. Yep, throttle down, throttle up. Temperature? I think that temperature is supposed to be speed? I don't understand what that temp- Why is the temperature rising? Or is that altitude? No, the temperature's still rising. That's concerning. Whoa. Look at the horizon indicator. That's interesting. Right in the middle of the console, as I go up and down, you can see a wheel rolls. That's really cool. All right, uh, F for fighter mode. Oh, you can't fire until you actually open up your wings. That's interesting. All right, now let's try to turn here. Oh, let's open up the cockpit while we're here. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna get out of this view here and we're gonna do another crash because this thing I think crashes like really, really well. But we gotta take this to space. This thing, we're not gonna do this thing justice unless we're in space. All right, so here we go. Oh wait, no, let's go to F. Yeah, there we go. We gotta open the wings up for the crash. What? It just teleported me all the way over here during the crash? That makes no sense. Look at this crash though. There it goes. All right, let's head over to space. Let's put this thing in its natural environment. Yeah, this thing was made for both space and unspace. That's right, I said it. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I forgot it's camera controlled. All right, here, let's get in the cockpit. I feel like this is a more natural. Look at the target finding. I'm really curious how that works. Like that moving thing, like I don't understand how that works. How does it move around like that? If someone in the comments knows how they're doing that, I'd really like to know, cause that's just weird. All right, we're gonna crash this thing into the ship. Uh-oh, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just flying all over the place. Uh, well, we're dead. Well, yeah, this probably has to be one of the most realistic Star Wars replicas I've seen. All of the Star Wars replicas we looked at today were just incredible. And I have a feeling that a lot of those were by the same person, maybe even this one included. Oh, oh, that was aggressive. I gotta do one more thing before I end this episode off because I just remembered that I forgot to try something. Ah, yes, ejecting seat. I didn't actually, I don't remember ejecting the seat. So I wanna see what ejecting the seat in this thing looks like. And of course we're gonna do it in the air as well. All right, is there a first person? I think there was, right? There it is. All right, you ready to eject seat? Okay, here we go in three, two, one. It actually worked. And it has automatic RCS thrusters to make sure that you land up right. I want to do it again, but this time not in first person because that was really disorienting. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, eject. There's actually a little rocket underneath the seat that ejects you up. That is awesome. This game has such amazing capabilities. It just takes a lot of time 
to be able to design stuff and program things. All right, so this is probably the toughest time I've asked this question, but what was your favorite creation in this episode? The, the, the bar was just so high in this episode so consistently, so I'm genuinely curious what you liked the best. For me, I actually think it was the, uh, the A10 there. If you guys want to see more amazing main assembly creations like you saw in this episode, then go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.